sometimes when you're using Inspire, you want to export a whole data set and either give it to somebody else or put it somewhere else on your machine uh, or on a different machine. So the way that you do that is in the data set editor. So you click on the data set you want to export and then click on the export button. If this is a data set type that contains source files, so local files, uh, Inspire will prompt you and ask if you want to include those files with your export. It's usually a good idea to keep these things together, um, but just know that this will make a copy of any source that you have. Inspire will automatically uh, default to an export data folder that's inside your, inside your Inspire dataset root directory. Uh, I'm going to back outside of Inspire and I have I just made a folder called datasets here. And then by default uh, Inspire will use the name of your dataset and add a zip extension to the end. And when it says that it's successfully exported, you're done. And you can go to that folder and see that you have a zip file with all your files and folders in it. Now let's say that we have a file that we got from somewhere else or maybe we're on a different machine now and we want to import a data set. We go to the data set editor and click import. And so you can navigate to wherever your, your data sets are. So I happen to have some here in my documents. So here's one about uh, TV show summaries. So I'm going to import that zip file. Now Inspire will ask you where you'd like to put the source files and it will automatically suggest your dataset root sources directory which is probably where you want to put them anyway. It's where Inspire is going to go look for them. So usually you can just hit continue import and at this point Inspire will start importing the dataset and how long this takes just depends on how many documents and how large everything is. When the import is finished, you'll see a little dialog that says that it was successfully imported. And then you will see that it shows up in your dataset editor. And by default, Inspire adds uh, import to the name. Now if, if for some reason you don't want that on the name, you can always go up here and rename it. So that's a quick demonstration of how you might get information out of and into a version of Inspire.